Everybody chooses an object. A golden berry. <laughs> <laughs> it's the race to think the least. Uh, a foot. <laughs> um, <laughs> particularly pointy twig. It's like any foot. <laughs> a severed one. It's, it's an object now. It's not a part of a person anymore. Uh, <laughs> Got a it. separate. So yeah, you're just using the corpse again. Uh, an object. A stussy. What the fuck's a, a stussy? Player wrote his design based on how easily it would be to. Well, yes, I know the that, but it's it's a brand, right? You can't like. What is the physical? No, the version? stussy. What, what is a physical? Drawing, stussy? A drawing of a stussy. Oh, so, so a drawing yeah, of yeah. a stussy. Yeah. Yeah. Player wrote his design based on oh, how easily it would be to convince people that you were a wizard if you traveled back in time to the Middle Ages with only that object. Well, I don't think that Stephanie's winning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, actually, <laughs> yeah, yeah it's bird true. it loses. Bird loses because it's just a, a twig. Yeah, I think a no. <laughs> Bert, st but it's a magic wand. I have I have a rune, right. and Colonel has a golden berry. Yeah, the golden berry. I think, yeah, I think beats the. Beats yeah, the us I don't wins. think I don't think a stick's no, gonna work. No, I don't win. I you think have the a golden berry. Yeah. Well, it's a magical item. Yeah. Uh, I split in the in the game. Pachu pachu pachu. Brutal. You can at least kind of say a stick might be a wand, but a foot is mm -hmm. just a fucking Please don't foot. be in the library. Please don't be in the library. Yeah. It's, it's a shock God. value. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that was that. Okay. So I I'm going to go through it. the library. No. Good. No, I'm not, I'm not going. Okay, I'm not going. thank I'm not going. God. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've been trying for weeks, man. I know, I know. I, I want to go for charm. I had to second guess it for a second there after last time. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Join Miranda and Damien's team for for game two. It goes differently. <laughs> Come on, shit dicks. Face the power of hell. <laughs> Paint this battlefield red, Damien. Grind them all into a thin red paste. You express your <laughs> worry and confusion over the number of corpses in the gym. This isn't supposed to be a... Isn't this supposed to be a friendly game? Friendly? What the fuck is friendly? I only have two words in my vocabulary. Kill and murder. And all the rest of this sentence. Honor, glory, feudalism. These are the words we will fight for. These are the words we will die for. These are a few of my favorite things. Mm. Whoa, you didn't sign up to die. You've got to stop this before it turns into an FPS or something. Get off my nuts, narrator. You don't understand the ancient reasons for dodgeball slaughter. Many died before us, and we won't waver. Guys, it's just dodgeball. Let's just throw the ball and have fun. Get off my uh, nuts, narrator. <laughs> that's, that's boldness and fun, I think. I hope the first one I pass. The war one is probably boldness. Yeah. The suicide Please. and whatnot. The Please. second one might be fun. You're gonna go for the boldness one? It's, yeah, you're really bad well, at that. But the second one might be fun. Look at the stats! This you, is, let's the yeah, ball this, have fun. You have like three stats that are higher than both. Yeah, this might be fun though. Yeah. 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 But that's not like the death of fun because you're being boring. No, no, because you want to actually play dodgeball. You want to actually play dodgeball, you. which is actually fun. Anyway, good luck. What are you going to do? First one, please. Oh! oh. oh. It is something that it's all right. it was. So it was either smarts right. or charm or what? What the monkey? fuck? That makes no sense. That's right. I, I am the narrator and I'm sick of your shit. Oh, what's this? Looks like opposing team had reinforcements the whole time. 15 orcs, 3 bears, 100 goblins. And a dragon that's also a machine gun somehow. Sounds Yeah, sick it turned out the book. narrator had more power than expected, huh? You should have thought about that before you fucked with me. Dude. <laughs> I wouldn't even give you the pleasure of narrating this bullshit. You wake up in detention. Your, your team is lost. Everybody hates you. Oh my gosh. Damn. And I'm making you lose three boldness so this doesn't fucking happen again. <laughs> Damn, <Mary>. Wow. <laughs> I don't think I want to date was, him that anymore. That was fun to read. <laughs> yeah, because because it's you, you're gonna get all your pent up anger. Keith. This is really fun to read. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, what are you doing? No, no, I was just, oh. I, was, I, I paused oh. to think about who I was even dating again. Because <laughs> so I was like, hang I on know, a minute, what was I doing? It's terror right now. Um, I sh uh, Charm is not gonna get any higher right now. Bathrooms, my boldness is okay, so I'm gonna work on fun. I'm just gonna raise whatever's low. Full crazy, Juan the small magical Latino cat. With strange enunciation. You know Scott sitting thoughtfully by a half dug hole. It's not like him to leave a hole half dug. <laughs> you ask what's up. Cool. It's not about what's up, it's about what's down. And how 
down it is. Oh. What's down, dog? Oh. Yeah. I mean, I'm giving 110% to these holes, but it's like Coach always says, 110% is only 50% of two, 220%. I mean, look at this. I can barely fit in this hole. And there's only one of it. Can you please help me figure out a way to dig more and better holes? This is why God invented dynamite. <laughs> Meet my friends, the mole people. They're great at digging, and they definitely don't secretly run the government. <laughs> the, um, fuck. Uh, Bold that's boldness, yeah. but what the fuck are you? <laughs> Hopefully not smarts. Char Maybe it's charm, charm because, because you're friends? friends. Yeah, that's <laughs> Oh, wow! Is this dynamite? It looks just like a bundle of little red bones! No, bad. No, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> That'll make it super easy to bury. I'll do it right now! And Scott looks so much better in his picture than he does in, in the real, like, in him emoting, as opposed to his little picture on the bottom. His little goofy chibi face yeah. that has no nose. He, he has the one picture that yeah. I don't think, like, suits him. It's Everyone a, else it's does a little, it. It's yeah. a little weird, it's a little weird looking. Mm -hmm. I like when he dissociates. Yeah, I like that one too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now what? Just leave him there for the next three years, just as he just processes. <laughs> you push down the plunger, and the whole outdoors explodes in a shower of dirt and monster parts. You and uh -oh. Scott are thrown all the way to the moon. Uh-oh. <laughs> Where you look down at your new hole. It's visible from space. He's so proud. Wow! That really is a more and better hole. See, his, but, his but nose what, doesn't even match. But what happens when he just nah, put weird. the werewolf on the moon? Is he always a werewolf? Oh my Whoa. god! Wow! Jeez. That came up in a different one where he's talking about like, oh, oh the werewolf moon. <laughs> and he was like, he's like, what if the moon was a werewolf? And he like got like super <laughs> into that. He's a mess. At least you think that's what he said. In space, no one can hear you appreciate the hole you made. You gain plus two fun and one boldness. I feel like I've seen a version of that story at somewhere. Might have just been like a comic or something, but but like an astronaut yeah. goes to the moon just to be a werewolf all the time. Oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> Which is terrifying for library. everybody else on that ship. <laughs> library. 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 Star kicker. They do NFTs now. Uh... Later, you see that Polly is even more excited than usual, and you decide to see what's going on. You know, I've been doing a lot of soul searching recently. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> and I think I finally figured it out. Well, I really am. I mean, my soul emoji. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gosh. The truth of my soul. Oh, gosh. I think a lot of people would say I'm like the winking ghost emoji or the paella emoji. Those are just who I am on the outside, you know? Is there a paella emoji? I don't know. <laughs> I my mean, real I don't know. Em Check. My, <laughs> my real soul emoji is pink heart with a blue arrow through it. It's like, I'm sweet, right? But I've also got a dark side. Plus an arrow through the heart is how I was killed. Gosh. Added to the 70th story pile. <laughs> there is but a you, <clears throat> there's what's a your soul emoji? emoji? There's an entire wiki that's just all over deaths. Uh, my yeah. soul emoji <clears throat> is pink heart with a ribbon award. Uh, is a is pink heart with a ribbon around it because it's right next to yours in the selection. Dude, menu. if somebody knew that off the top of their head, I would be so disturbed <laughs> by that. My soul emoji <laughs> is air horn, loud and proud and big into hip hop. <laughs> uh, this threw me off because I had to think like, oh, you have to say it as yeah. a title. That's why there's no the. <laughs> Well, the bottom one is fun, right? I think the first one's air could horn. Be. I think the first one's charm. Yeah. Because you're flirting. Well, that one's that, a landmine. Yeah. Charm. <laughs> that, that is really bad news for you. Yeah. Okay, let's see the second one. Awesome, boo. Yeah. I mean, yay. Anyway. <laughs> air horn. That's a great choice. It does seem like a thing she would, an answer she would actually like. Yeah. Man, I love when I'm listening to a sick pop song and all of a sudden, peer, 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 peer. <laughs> it really keeps the party going. <laughs> we should hang out more. If you're anything like an air horn, I bet you never get annoying. Oh, <laughs> 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 that's good. Yeah, you're air horn funny, which is a 
good thing. You gain two fun and one charm. Let's do this. They're kind of autopiloting, giving you. Are they? They're gonna Not be really. fun. Hmm. As I said, like they're kind of giving you some of the stats automatically that you need that you can't be getting because you're trying to get money. <laughs> Yeah, they're uh, helping a bit, but not very don't wanna, much. Don't want to fail because of that. Mm -hmm. Stefani, really... you can get you can get char uh, creativity or boldness, or you could buy the mystery gift for nothing. What does a mystery gift do? It does a mystery. Yeah. It does I, a different I, thing every time. Well, I mean, is it? I mean, am I still as a corpse storyline over? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand event items. I mean, I don't have. I don't even know how you learn what they do without just playing the game for a billion hours or looking them up. Well, let's just. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but but if I'm doing the corpse thing, I don't want to go to the store. Wouldn't that ruin my ability to continue on? With the thing? Sure, because it skips today. It skips this stamp, this chance for an event. Yeah. Okay, let's go to yeah. boldness then, because I'm. I'm not lying. that. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think you've already been here once before, so that's all the more impressive. Uh, I don't... You just must have started with nothing. I don't think I have been here today. After your previous <clears throat> adventures, your uh, uh, now corpses are an acceptable and quite hot fashion accessory. Cool, okay. So it's still it, going. It is continuing. You're still on it. Nice. You become a well-known trendsetter advocating for your, uh, for your beloved corpses. Life is now all fancy and busy. Luckily, you have your sexy, sexy secretary to help you with all your new tasks. Oh, no. Mrs. Mrs. Stephanie? We have a problem. <laughs> You're married. <laughs> wait, wait, why am I missing your first or he, name? <laughs> or he just doesn't know any better. Yeah, it's your no, first name. No, he doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> he just he just is <laughs> saying the authority word. This guy's kind of adorable, mm -hmm. actually. If you had assumed your sexy, sexy secretary had to be female, then shame on you. It's been leaked that Vogue's next issue will include an article titled 10 Reasons Why Wearing a Corpse as a Fashion Accessory is Not Chic and Probably Also a Crime. I've done some research and found the journalist. It's a bro called Fyodor Fedora. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do, boss? As Vogue rules dictate, the only way to subdue a Vogue journalist is by out-journalizing them in, in a journalism duel to the death. Sometimes people need a little push in the right direction. Kill his family and send them their, their severed heads as a warning. Dude, those are both about death, though. <laughs> which one's... Which? <laughs> uh, hold on. I could see the first one being smarts and the second one being charm. What? <laughs> killing his uh... family is charm? I feel like killing his family is <laughs> <should laughs> probably be boldness, but the first... Yeah. Most of my stats are more them, right? better than boldness. I'll go for the first one. So creative, because hey. it's writing, I guess. <laughs> oh, cool! To the death! Yeah, because duels to the death never go out of fashion. Ooh, that's very Vogue. Let me choose the best outfit for your duel, boss. It's going to be a, a wolf suit. And so you engage mm -hmm. in a journalism duel with Fyodor Fedora. And out journalist... Uh, to out journalist Fedora, you write an article titled 10 Reasons Why Wearing a Fedora is Not Cool and yeah, Definitely Not a Crime. Neckbeard. Get yeah, neckbeard. Yeah. Definitely. It's a, a very eye opening article that reflects on the social circumstances during the 20th century that destroyed the Fedora's popularity as a symbol of masculine fashion. I wonder what that's about. Mm -hmm. Vogue's board of executive editors fires Fedora, claiming, Now we see it is not in Vogue's best interest to keep someone who wears fedoras. Damn. Wait, it said the 20th century? Shouldn't it be the 21st? Or am I not up to Wait, date? I always get that fucked up, honestly. 21st would be the 1900s. No, so, yeah, wait, yeah, they fucked no, it up. that's not what, what? I mean. No, the 20th. No, 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 no. no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Birds try to trick us over here. Yeah, sorry. The, 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 the 1900s would have been the 20th century, so we actually are in the 21st yeah, century. Yeah, it was right. You, you took the, the fucking one. off by one and turned it to an off by two just to see if anyone was listening. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, the fact that he just lost a duel to the death makes us believe he is not safe bet in the long term for this company. Oh, uh, uh, they're right. Your article's so good that you want to win a Pulitzer. Which you <laughs> totally used to bash Fedora's head into a pulp. Is, is, a, pul is a Pulitzer a physical... I've never seen a Pulitzer before, but I guess it's, it's a physical trophy. Yeah, it's probably a, a trophy, and yeah. they're usually sharp. <laughs> I, I'm sure somewhere. <laughs> As trophies do. As trophies do. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray for murder, boss! Yes to murder, but for all the right reasons. 
Also, Vogue publishes your article and fedoras become so uncool that it actually fuels the sale of corpses as a fashion accessory ah, to them. Fashionable nice. alternative to them. Hell yeah. Corpses Vogue pays fedoras. you plus three money, but they assure you that the real payment has been the inexperience. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Choose a brand. You can't say Vogue. I'm vetoing it. That's, that's not a brand. Vogue's a brand. I mean, Vogue. I mean, it's a it, magazine. I'm just, okay. But you think we talked about brand? Well, okay. Well, no. I did this last well, time where I was like, oh, brands of clothing. And then someone else said something well, like. I've literally said me before. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Disney. 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 Aquafina. Mmm. Uh, edit. The drink or the woman? Wait, there's a woman? Yeah. Okay, uh... Her name's Aquafina. Yes. She, she's in Ten Rings and Raya the Last Dragon. I will reserve my choice for when I see the prompt. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> you will okay, not? The, the drink, then. Monster prompt. Uh... <laughs> nice. Volkswagen. Volkswagen. It's Volkswagen. actually Volkswagen. I'm sorry, Volkswagen. I thought Volkswagen. Players decide mm -hmm. based on how oh. likely it is that Disney, the selected Disney, brand Disney, secretly Disney, rules Disney, the world. Disney, Disney, Disney. 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 Well, I, I lose because I picked an indie gump company. <laughs> you see, you see all, by all means, seems ethical. Yeah. Like, they did it's retweet Stephanie something Bird. that I tweeted, and it got me 50 likes, but that's not really ruling the world currency. Aquafina Aqu <laughs> is owned by Coca-Cola. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah Coca-Cola is small. That's closer. Coca-Cola Coca is small. pretty evil, yeah. What did Bird say again? Disney Volkswagen. is worse, though. Volkswagen. Yeah. Right, Volkswagen so is also pretty evil. Okay. They aren't German. Okay, I do have the order all. correct. Okay, so it's yep. it is. So it's probably Coke after that, right? I think so. Yeah. Not that it doesn't really matter. And then, matter, and then cars, the I guess. Library. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't really matter because everyone's store. politely letting you get what you want no matter what. <laughs> it's funny how know, this always ends up kind of just being a team effort anyway. Friendship. Well, we all want to win, kind of. Well, yeah, okay, but so I I'm not really, win the most. <laughs> I'm not pursuing anyone. So I can go to the witches and just get a stat boost. Yeah, because I'm not going to do a different. I'm already on a, on a thing. So I'm just yeah. going to go talk to the witches then. Witches! That what Every D pad direction I did it was not where I, I, I know clicked. you scared yeah, me for was, a minute there. I was pressing <laughs> bottom left every time. <laughs> and it just goes. <laughs> does it just. No, it doesn't. It doesn't zigzag left or right. Because it just, it just skipped to. I don't know, I just mashed it for a while and eventually it gets there. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you're playing keyboard and mouse, you just click on the place you want. You're enjoying your meal in peace when you hear the unmistakable sound of three throats clearing. At the same time. <laughs> oh no. Uh. <laughs> that is unmistakably the sound of three throats clearing. <laughs> Yes, hello. This is a Zen question. <laughs> as you know, it is customary for a benevolent witch coven to have, as an ally, a malevolent creature of some sort. And since Liam has apparently decided he's too cool for us now, I mean, because of your incredible resume and good looks, we're here to save the day. we've decided to accept you on a trial basis as our supernatural companion for one adventure. Adventure not to exceed three episodes or eclipse the main plot arc. As a consideration for your willing participation, we'll even allow you your choice of adventures. Three episodes? You could knock that out, uh, knock out one of these adventures by the end of lunch, and it actually sounds fun. The coven gives you two options. Stop the crime ghost who's been taking over children's bodies and using them to rob oh, banks. Oh gosh. You have a uh, never before seen <laughs> plan. <laughs> Take on the greatest villain of all incoming quality, inequality. Dude, I'm gonna do the right thing. I'm gonna do that one, because that's the right thing. Or would that be, that'd, be, that'd be for money, huh? You probably will get money, maybe. maybe. It does mention money, which sounds like it'd give you money, okay, which the, you the, can't then, spend then I, ever, because this is the end of the game. Almost. I guess I'll save children. Uh, 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 <laughs> you put a stop to the crime ghost crime in the only way you know how, with fake with beards. Money. Yeah. It's working. Now that all the children have fake beards, the crime ghost can't tell their children he's got no one to possess. Yep, that was totally your plan. You definitely didn't just start slapping beards on kids and hope for the best. Just I thought it'd be funny. I just want to see kids yeah. with beards on. <laughs> Excellent. The day is saved once again, thanks to the coven and our faithful sidekick, Stephanie. What's that? You wanted to know about payment? We're sorry, but the contract clearly states that this is an unpaid internship. 
The contract does say that. Oh well, at least you gain plus four creativity for your lateral thinking. Let's go. You're so creative. Let's go for now. bottom right. Is that your second stat boost from lunch? No. No. Are you sure? Yeah, because I didn't. I didn't yeah, get the no. lunch the first. Oh. I think I, was it me? I went to the store the first. The first lunch. Oh, My right, brain's right, melting. Right. Anyway, Colonel. <clears throat> mm -hmm, bottom right. Look at all the food. As usual, Miranda sits before her immaculate array of carefully arranged silverware. Damien, predictably, is examining her biggest knife. So, this is the one for killing people, right? Uh, disgraceful. <laughs> what? Good heavens, no. This is the butter dagger. It would be unseemly to use it on meat. <laughs> uh, uh, so, what then? Am I supposed to use this scrawny-looking knife to kill a dude? No, no, no. If you simply must kill someone mid-meal, it's customary to use the fish knife. This is merfolk court silverware, after all. That tiny thing? I might as well wait for my victim to die of old age. That is usually how it's done in my kingdom, yes. That or poison. This is ridiculous. Yo, you there. Which knife would you use to kill a guy? A and don't say the fish knife. The fish knife. <laughs> a spoon. <laughs> what, you need blades to kill people? The fish knife. Yeah, I disagree with it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I said not. What? Oh, I'll show you which knife is used for murder. <laughs> Damien picks up the big scary knife he wants to use in the first place and lunges at you. You pick up the fish knife. Yes, defend my honor. Make sure to hold the knife with pinky extended. Mm -hmm. What? I'll be to disarm me. I'm normally the best at stabbing. Fuck me. I Not guess a fish knife really is the best for murder after all, huh? One must today, never yeah. doubt a princess in matters of silverware, my dear. Miranda is so impressed with your prowess in combat and silverware, she is, she awards you with her napkin as a token. All right. Yay. Middle table. Talk to cat. Spend money. Items mysteriously gone. <laughs> Oh, God. Hey, oh, last night I read no. this article about how money causes pocket cancer in the long run. You don't want to get pocket cancer. Quick, give me that dangerous money you have in your still healthy pockets. There, there. it is. Okay. It's oh, there. For a moment there, I it's thought it was there. gone. Yay! I thought it was gone, too, because it was in the upper left corner yeah. the last time. Yeah. One day I'll afford cocaine. Yeah, they, yeah, they <laughs> oh, just shit. shuffle. They just hard shuffle, huh? <laughs> You want this, yeah. you sick pervert? I had no idea you appreciate a, a good old re reverse Romanian Wilkinson. I must admit it's kind of hot you're into that kinky shit. Don't care, thanks. Look at all those stats oh. that aren't Whoa. smarts. Whoa. Wow. You just get, oh, you got like stupid. You got stupid stats. <laughs> I, never, I, never knew, shit. I never knew Bird was so fun. <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> it may be super fucking dumb, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. It, just proves, sick. <laughs> it proves you can't be fun and smart at the same time, apparently. <laughs> oh, no. Apparently. I'm always <laughs> amazed at how people keep coming and buying all this stupid crap. Intriguing. Um, sure. Congratulations, sure. Bird. Thank Doggy. you. There's still one more encounter One to more go, check though. to not fail. Yeah. I find Liam taking a picture of his food, and Scott taking a picture of also Liam's food, this event again. Yeah, we could we, we can skip it, right? Or yeah, oh. no, I don't oh. know. Oh, you, you, if you want to. It's, Have uh, you seen it, uh, uh, Stephanie? Probably not. Uh, no, no but I'll yeah, read it. We got plenty of time. Fast. Let's go. Let's go. Huh? Yes, Scott. Yeah. Snap away. My artistic plating is too magnificent to ignore. Uh, what? Artistic? What? I'm playing Pokemon's Go, the mobile version of the hit Pocket Humans video game. What do pocket mans have to do with my food pick? There's a level 43 Bernard Henson hang hanging out in the middle of your plate. Here, take a look. Scott, why does your phone show a tiny human doing pottery on top of my eggplant ravioli? You mean you don't know Bernard Hansen? He used to be a chartered accountant, and now he's decided to pursue his dream of being a world-famous potter. Dude, this sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> that major life change has made him super rare. Pocket humans almost never follow Aww, their dreams. <laughs> just like in real life. <laughs> well, I don't care how rare he is. His presence is spoiling my pristine food pick. Spoiling it? But pocket humans are way cooler than a boring old food pick. You take that back. Uh-oh. Tempers are running a little high. 
Looks like it's up to you to settle this dispute. Scott's right, Liam. Why take a normal cliched food pick when you could take a food pick of Scott capturing a Pokemon off your Pokemon off your food pick? Scott, ah. look over there. There's a Stuart Hogarth on top of that pile of mashed potatoes. So, this one, because I indulge Scott. Yes. Good lord, you're right. The layers of irony are practically infinite. Go ahead, Scott. Capture your Pokemon. Okay, here I go. Wait, what are you doing? Stop molesting my pasta. I'm not trying to grab your pasta, bro. I'm trying to grab Bernard Henson. These too slippery. Oh. <laughs> You imbecile! Bernard Henson isn't actually on top of my ravioli. He's an image projected by your phone. Are you sure? He seems so real. Let me just try to grab him a few more times. No! My artfully arranged pasta pockets are in disarray, you fiend. How weird is it that he's <laughs> pointing his phone over there and he probably sees the Bernard, but not Liam? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a different reality it's a entirely. <laughs> Because Liam's well, because Liam wouldn't be on a, a phone probably, because he's because yeah. he's a vampire. <laughs> Liam chases oh, you yeah. and Scott away yeah, so he can rebuild work? his artful pasta arrangement. You bond with Scott by teaching him how to actually play Pokemon Go. Aww. <clears throat> yeah, because he doesn't know like catching. <laughs> At least Scott will play oh, Pokemon Go with me, unlike Stephanie. <laughs> My uncle thought it was. Oh, that's right. We've Go. done this one too. Ah. Oh yeah, players decided based on how likely, who is most likely to be hiding corpses in their basement, and then Stephanie wins by default. Click. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you and guys then argue. Stat, chat, yell people's names oh. or something. I go second because I have a basement, and both you guys don't have basements. Yeah, that was that was what was oh, last yeah. time. Yeah. Because <laughs> I live. In, yeah, California doesn't have basements. It's, the floor's too hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm more likely to have bodies, but Colonel's more likely to have a basement. So, <laughs> so we should team up, Colonel. Bird's should, more likely yeah. to be able to afford to be a serial killer. Yeah. Wait, what? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> American Psycho. Okay, Patrick Bateman. Oh my god, this game went by Although so fast. Although I do have the time. I know. <laughs> do you think we can cram in a monster camp playthrough in 30 minutes? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. As it turns out. Maybe like a one round. Yeah. Stefani, <laughs> you have so much freedom to do whatever you want. Okay, well, I'm... <laughs> Uh, uh, I guess I'll just go be, I'll go be fun. Does anyone need fun or am I stealing anything from anyone? Uh, I, I don't. <laughs> okay. Who am I? I want charm because I'm scared of how low it is. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just go be fun. Hopefully there's a corpse related thing there. Blah, 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 blah. So Juan's gonna go inside of the corpse like a tauntaun. Uh -oh. Ah, life is good. You're a successful trendsetter that has moved monster kind forward to a more corpse-friendly society. Or, it would be good if you weren't about to crash into three biggest enemies of progress and inclusiveness. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> are you carrying a corpse? What a lame loser. Corpses are dumb. We're taking your corpse so we can make fun of it. You guys are bullies. The bigots. Oh, I oh, thought they were the I... three. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Uh, just, you can just use the new voice. Okay, I'll use the new voice. Okay. Hey, a corpse. Give it to me. I want its loot. Also, you're a monster, right? Prepare to die. The haters. Seems my love. It's oh. me. Oh. I thought it was going to be the coven. The international, the interdimensional prince. I'm here in your dimension to marry some cute high school. Get out of here, you creeper. Oh. What's that you're carrying with you? Is it some kind of dry, skinny, funky, smelly high schooler? Can I marry it? And, um, the interdimensional prince? Oh, she was the hater, I guess. Let's settle with the creeps. Or whatever. The dude isn't, uh, this dude isn't good news for sure. This can't be good. You're surrounded by jerks. It's, it's more, we're calling them more things. It's time to fight for your corpse and for a more inclusive and corpse-friendly oh, society. I'm defending my corpse. But how? No, you're woke enough to acknowledge your corpse doesn't need a, a knight S and shining armor to protect it. It can protect itself. Love is always the answer. Wink. <laughs> What? God. It's the frat. <laughs> no pressure, but I you don't... lose the entire storyline. I know! <laughs> yeah, I'm, what the I'm fuck? I'm woke enough. Would that be smarts? 
Is I'm... love charm? Maybe. Uh... This the one's really one confusing. Does seem charming because you're lying. In well, the just, wink? you just say Can love. Uh... Like what? What does that second one achieve? Why would that? Uh, what is woke? Creative? What is wokeness? <laughs> Enough to acknowledge a crush well, doesn't need a night is. Is maybe creativity or smarts are both higher than charm? What if the second one is seem... actually smarts because I'm I'm doing some weird trickery? What? I mean I think I think the first mm. one's probably I'm gonna guess the first one, but I'm gonna be hell pissed if the second one's like something like I would like smarts. to see the corpse defend itself, that'd be pretty funny. Okay, well you know, I do feel this way. <laughs> you know, corpse oh, corpse is its so own stressed. lady. Uh, go, corpse, go. So smart, Yay! apparently. <laughs> Leave your corpse alone. It can defend itself. It actually can't, it's a corpse. But you've become so woke, you achieve level 12 of awakeness. Oh my gosh, At that I'll level, your awakeness again. is so strong, it affects those around you. Whoa, Whoa, bros! I think... I think maybe bullying a corpse, or anyone for that matter, is not cool? Oh, it's getting them. I thought it was making the corpse yeah. alive. <laughs> <laughs> but it means that you're, you're brain-infecting people. <laughs> and I feel like looting corpses might be bad, too. It reminds me of how, like, in every video game, you just mindlessly press A on everything and don't think about it. But the moment you're playing a tabletop game, saying the word loot the corpses is so much weirder. And so in every mm -hmm. tabletop campaign I've done, nobody actually loots bodies because it's weird to it say that you're doing it. When you acknowledge that you're doing it out loud. <laughs> it's a very weird feeling. Maybe it was the cockatrice burritos I ate before. Yes, yes, I know what you're feeling. I suddenly see how marrying a corpse oh, isn't okay. I'm gonna marry it. Ew. But what about yeah. fooling high schoolers into marriage? Can we settle for that? No. Well, I guess you can't work miracles. Let's share all these newfound realizations on the internet to feel self-righteous and, ju and be judgmental and patronizing to other people. Nice. The awakeness effect will fade soon. And you, but but you've made the world a better place for a few minutes at least. Awakeness. <laughs> Nobody says that. It's really weird. It's really weird. It's really weird to say that that way. That's why I thought the corpse was gonna stand up. So yeah. feel free to feel free, feel free to feel self-righteous and even to be a bit judgmental and patronizing to other people. Ironically, you end up saving your corpse. But what's that you see in its beautiful dead eyes is it oh my god gratitude my real problem my you're starting to form problem. a really nice bond with your corpse you feel like you have a special connection is this what some might call love uh, Wait, you, you, be is the problem you better hope you better hope it fucking wakes up or this is weird if it wakes up it's just me but if it's not then it's weird <laughs> Or is it just you hallucinating due to continuous inhala inhalation of the many unhealthy fumes the corpse is re releasing from it slowly de as it slowly decomposes? Hard to tell. Only sure thing is you gain two charm and one smart, so you can charm that corpse. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Necrophilia. So, so oh I think God. the way that item endings work is you pick yourself. I was gonna say that. I was, I was gonna uh, do yeah. it anyway. Because that's what that's how the, that's how we got the poetry thing to work. Yep. So let's go with creativity. I ain't got nobody else anyway. Don't hit green. Oh, I think this is the first time I've ever seen her. She's so cute. She's in, amazing. Like, Look at her all, little horse. All the... And it's the nickname <laughs> one again. She is the cutest character for sure. You open Absolutely. up your logger and a Dance cloud of rate. gas knocks you out. You come to your senses pummeling, uh, plummeting towards Earth, rapidly approaching terminal velocity. You fall into the school's backyard into the hands of Miranda's biggest goons. Your classmates don't notice. Mm -hmm. It didn't work. None of them even noticed your glorious fall. People are so used to spectacle at this school. The slow ascension is tiresome. I need a glorious act, a grand gesture to secure my throne. Can you think of something while I, while I flay my salmon? Whoa, <laughs> that sounds like a euphemism. Sounds, <laughs> what does yeah. that mean? Come on, baby, flay my salmon. No more talk. We bring war. I will build a monument to you, your highness. I will rival the sun and the atrocities your family committed. Oh, <laughs> let's go with this. Which one's larger? Because one, it's hopefully it's not boldness. <laughs> it's definitely creativity. Yeah. <sighs> oh yeah, art. Mm -hmm. You single-handedly break all windows in the school and start renovating the merry-go-round. What an excellent choice of materials! Glass is made from sand, and I never understood why the school has a merry-go-round. The glass is sharp. 
but you persevere and build a 50-foot high statue of Miranda shard wow. by shard. You spin the playground toy. You don't know whether it's good, it's the gods blessing your creation, or just bloodlust, but... Oh, gosh! It sparkles! You pass out from bloodlust shortly after, I think we know what it is now, <laughs> after Miranda starts apologizing for swearing. Oh, because she said, mm. gosh. Mm -hmm. oh. You get the best medical care from Miranda's surgeons and also two charm and one creativity. All right. I don't think my stats really matter at this point. No, yeah, I guess I would, all of them. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I would go for boldness, if anything. But what do you need, Keith? I'm going for charm because it's a really, really scary low. <laughs> OK, then I'll go for boldness. You stinky Toilet bathrooms. Time. Okay, so you have the marbles and the penguin mask. You posted a tweet a, a while ago begging for a kilo of guacamole. You pr you promised a handsome payment. And today is yes, the day know. that paid off. Someone with the clearly fake account at Wilkinson Romania, in six, Romania 69 has DM'd you. You arranged a meeting at the outskirts of your of school where all shady deals take place. But this, uh, boy, this is complicated. If only you had, if only you could buy guacamole at the supermarket or the pharmacy. Elders usually tell stories of how it was done that way centuries ago. The good old times. While daydreaming of d of days when guac was easier to get, you bump into At Wilkinson Romania 69. Who turns out to be none other than Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Leo. <laughs> hey. I'm like really old. Or do you need some bespoke sex supplies? Like inappropriately old? What? I've lived for many centuries. Of course I know what a reverse Romanian Wilkinson is, not to mention where to find some good guac. I'm all in for people ready to explore the limits of their sexualities and the potential uses of avocado. But this is going to cost you, my fellow friend. Use your sweet negotiation skills and toss all the money you can find in your pockets at him. <laughs> Blackmail yeah, lots him. Of money. You'll take the guac in exchange for never telling anyone he's a kinky vampire who carries guac around. <laughs> is guac really exclusively worried. used for sex in this world? Like, is guac not eaten? Um, no. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> This is yeah. this, you, all you, of our guac lore is coming from this storyline. You must be a, you must be into king because you're carrying guac on you. Yeah, <laughs> gross. Jesus Christ. Super Bowl parties take a distinctly weird turn. Yeah, I feel like the top <laughs> Ew, one's no. money, right? Yeah, I was gonna say I was really worried about this. I was like, oh god, what if it's a really hard thing to pick? Yeah. But no, it's pretty fucking obvious the top one is money. <laughs> so. I can't go wrong unless the bottom one is smarts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh no! Uh, you better hope that's we got to do the bottom or creativity. one. Creativity. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> My God, it's over. Ah, uh, the eternal struggle of the artisanal sex merchant. <laughs> Uh, our art is anal, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> our, our art is anal, <laughs> sex merchant. Yeah. Yeah, I'll Jesus never look at that Christ. word the same way before. I've never thought about that. <laughs> our natural clients are by their very nature also the most devious and depraved. Go on, take the unclean spoils of your cruel blackmail. I will yield in order to protect my spotless reputation. <laughs> Oh, alas. You get the feeling he's enjoying this. Maybe getting blackmailed is his fetish. Ooh. Who Ooh. cares? The important thing is you've obtained the guac and also two boldness and one charm. Um, Look at more those stats. Sta Damn, you like I've never had better stats. <laughs> Jesus wow. Christ. It's all or nothing on every stat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so much. All right, so I got to get my charm is my stupid shitty stat. Ba -doop -ba -doop. Afterwards, Scott catches up with you, panting excitedly. Bro, hey! I was just looking for you! I can't stop thinking about you! This is sounding good. So I thought, maybe tonight, if you weren't doing anything... Yes? Yes? We could maybe go somewhere private and, you know, use our bodies to... Yes? Yes? Work out! Yeah. Oh. Okay. You're maybe a little disappointed, but you can still salvage this. You suggest the most romantic workout you know. French squats or naked basketball? <laughs> 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 Fuck, I don't remember what these were at all. Ugh. 
I think you chose naked Creativity basketball. And boldness, but of probably. course that doesn't mean anything. Uh, uh, naked basketball might be fun. <clears throat> French squats might be smart because you have to know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you have to know oh, French. Fuck. Naked basketball might be fun. It is like a poly yeah. choice, isn't it? Which would, which would beat, which would beat my boldness. Say. Well, my top two stats are boldness and charm and fun. So if it's either of them, I win. It's bold. Yay! You were wrong, Stephanie. Oh well, I think naked, ba naked basketball sounds fun. So. Yeah. Naked basketball. You just put two of my favorite words together into one word. Uh. No, it's okay. still two words. Really they, were just <laughs> they, were just, they were just closer together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's play basketball the way the founding fathers intended. <laughs> You're not sure what the fact that the founding fathers had any opinion on being naked during basketball, but now is not the time for historical objections or thinking about when basketball was invented. You play a very, very intimate game of one on one. The other students are too impressed by your beautiful bodies to object. <laughs> a talent scout from the Naked Basketball Association happens to be there. NBA. After you put your clothes on again, he signs nice. you and Scott for your upcoming season. My grandpa is going to be so proud of me. I think this is the first ending I ever got, <laughs> like day one. It looks like the ball's yeah. in your court now, or perhaps the balls are in your court. You gain two fun oh. to one money. I'll just see myself Handle. out. <laughs> uh -huh. After that joke. All right. I'm asking myself to prom. I'm the hottest Are you going to say yes? <laughs> no, I don't know. I'll think about it. Are we all going to succeed? I Maybe think we are. This might be our first ever all success. Is this the first? Yeah. It might be our first. Miranda. Also, Liam's uh, socks are purple. I just know they are. Oh, they are. He's all color coordinated. That's kind of cute. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a cute couple right One there. One of these days I'm going to misclick mm -hmm. on this screen and that's going to hurt. Oh, that would... Oh, man. I, I would be very sad. <laughs> Especially if it was right Don't now. fuck me on this, Keith. <laughs> Is this the right one, Bird? There's this a one? confirmation screen afterwards it's anyway. We're fine. Time. Yeah, but you know what confirmation screens just become muscle memory? <laughs> that's true. When's the last time a confirmation screen actually saved you? <laughs> Uh, no, <laughs> Close never. without saving. I w w can't wait. <laughs> Scott, Scott, where are you going? <laughs> I wasn't nice. think I wasn't thinking it. I was just pressing D pad. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just nervous. I want us all to win. Uh -oh. Okay, so either I fucked up or we're we all, all good. Win. Uh, prom? <laughs> I don't know a lot about math, bro. But you plus me seems to equal a great night. Oh, that's the that's a cute dumb pickup line. <laughs> we did it, then, didn't we? I think we yeah, all did, we did it. Hey, let me check our math book to be sure. It's good after our last camp match. Gosh. <laughs> that isn't a correct formula, but Scott is still thrilled to be your upcoming prom date. The perfect team. Oh, look how cute Scott Aaron is. Aaron Hansen's not even doing a voice. It's just Aaron Hansen speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Prom night was rad. Well, there was that part where the full moon came out and Scott transformed into a rabid wolf and nearly killed three people. But aside from that, it was a wonderful night to remember. Let's do this. He's just fine. He just burps him out, apparently. Oh boy. You ask nobody to prom because none of them are as cool as a corpse. Like cold. because You <laughs> ask your corpse to prom and for, and for sure it doesn't say no. <laughs> I don't like that. Uh. So what date it is. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> to his head. You bring your corpse to prom. What a whimsical evening. And nobody judges oh you. Mostly god. because everybody's doing their own fucked up stuff. So you get to date a corpse. Still, that doesn't make it less wrong. For today, you romance a corpse. Maybe tomorrow you romance a sentient being who can really love you back. Well, we'll try next time. Baby steps. Yeah, one thing at a time. <laughs> Of course I want to go to prom together, my Machiavellian fellow conspirator. I can't help but deeply value such a brilliant and scheming mind. It's smart to keep someone that can be so useful at palace intrigues close at hand. And we royals here all about convenient and strategic marriage. So why shouldn't I be smart and strategic about prom dates too? Also, you're like super cute. When yeah, prom night is. comes, you're ready to have the night of your lives. You've practiced your... your <laughs> Viennese, Viennese waltz and Miranda is deeply as impressed. Even if the music is mostly electronic, you somehow Viennese waltz the fuck out of it, and everyone gathers in a circle to admire your prowess. It's a magical evening. 
Also, you execute some more plots and assassinations together just in case, which is a fantastic bonding experience. Ooh, Another ooh, new one. Good ending. You and Miranda are selected as prom royalty. And you know, it's a bit cheesy to say this, but Miranda's beauty is heightened by the delicacy of her enemy's blood all over her body. Sexy. <laughs> it's truly been a magical evening. All right. I need to start so getting any- main worry. Okay, good. I was gonna say, maybe <laughs> in a short time we still didn't go through all of the events. Uh, <laughs> but no, we must be here. Sweet. Penguin mask? Guacamole? Bag of marbles? It's all here! You're the real deal, huh? So, it's a day. And what a day it shall be, right? So happy to finish that unfinished business! Prom night comes, and you're as ready as you can be for the reverse remaining Wilkinson. You still have no clue how it works, but you'll trust in the odds of improvising and giving Polly the lead. Oh my Yay! god, it's got the guac. I don't mm -hmm. understand how, how the mask works or matters, but okay. It doesn't or how matter. The, 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 yeah. the, where the marbles go. Uh, that's, the, that's the most intuitive part, I would guess. In the end, it turns out to be mind-blowing, even though you're still incapable of describing it. But who cares? You'll never be the same again. Until we reset the game again, like we do every, mm -hmm. every, every day is exactly the same, there's no <laughs> pain. Also, you did a great deed helping Polly, so... But she's still the same. She catches your confused look. What? Oh, yeah! About that. I lied about the whole unfinished business thingy. I just like a good old reverse Romanian welcome, son. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the that entire cool story twist. was a lie. That's three new secret ending. endings. We just wow, did like ten. We just today. did like ten percent of the game's secret endings in one game. We Yay. only had five before. Wow! <laughs> Holy shit! That was great. <laughs> and I was here too. <laughs> <laughs> I need to start getting any of the dude's secret endings, or we'll just never see them. <laughs> yeah. How, do you, how does wow. Scott work? It's not fair. <laughs> I, I'm, yeah. I'm just, I'm glad, Bird, I'm proud of you. I'm glad you finally got You all did Polly. it. Now Bird has to think of Thank other you. things to do. No. To think that, <laughs> yeah, now to what? Think that you were saved, you were saved by Keith's mistake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you still have enough money in the end, though. You still I, passed. I, I, yeah, accidentally I, don't know blacked, I accidentally, like, just fucking tripped Colonel. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but it ended up working out for the both of us. Those two Holy weeks were shit. maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster problem, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Life, like it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Scott and Miranda realized they were super good at being surgeons, so they opened a clinic. Their specialty is removing faces, and it's become quite the popular treatment. It's known as the Slendermanization. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Polly's drug cooking skills proved useful, and she became a chemist for the pharmaceutical industry. But in her free time, she still cooks the real shit. Her greatest inventions so far are watermelon-flavored ecstasy and a thing called LS Dope. Excellent. Liam, kept, Liam kept doing uh, art so hard that he eventually evaporated and became the concept of coolness itself. Fuck off, Liam. Wow. As he left the physical plane, the last thing Liam did was give everyone a condescending look. Fuck off, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> for those two weeks, the monster prom seemed larger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. The battle for monster prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in the war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. It's the song. It's not from the new photographers, but I guess it's okay, too. I'm curious to see what Polaroids we get at the end. Because we had three secret endings, like, yeah. holy shit. That's a lot. Yeah. Does the corpse have an ending? <laughs> hey, it's the Slender Organization. The corpse hmm. is already dead. It already had its ending. <laughs> <laughs> Some endings are the beginning. Wow. <laughs> oh, there's a, well, there's a couple of scenes. There's the knife with the, the fish knife. The, and, and the spoon. Ah, the butter dagger. <laughs> I really thought the corpse was gonna wake up or something, but instead it Ooh, just stayed it weird just all the way to the end. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Hard commit. I love the band. We never picture. did bends or anything. Yeah. Maybe it's the secret, secret, secret final ending. One hundred percent completion. <laughs> they play this we, song. We just show up to school one day and there's no characters. It's just us. Oh my gosh, that'd be. Tragic. 
Turkey. Be scary. That's like a. That's like it's a, so that's small like a, in his hand. Creepy pasta. <laughs> it's, it's like such a pokeball. Cool ball. Oh, that's cool. That's why what, what I did with Miranda <laughs> against Damien. Yeah. So the people they actually died. Do drinks just like <laughs> drip back out of my mouth because I don't have lips on one side? Ew. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's just that you true. being rude, you fucker. I, I don't have lips on one side. <laughs> you have a drinking yeah, problem? Yeah, yeah, we get it. Well, I mean, yes. <laughs> have some manners. Wow. <laughs> Insensitive. Yes. Always have each other's rears. Oh, you rears. got the Polaroid. Oh, <laughs> hey. That's hey, that's the first Polaroid you've ever done, Keith. <laughs> no, I got one last week. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, well, was the, I already celebrated bad. last week, you fool. Well, my bad. I have two consecutive Polaroids now. Ha ha. Wow. Hey, gotta mm, get to the mm. earned ones. Dip dip ba boo ba da ba da boo. Not here. Where's the zombie? Yeah, see, I got Liam last time. Oh yeah. Okay. Don't you remember Liam? No. And now I got this yeah, he one. he sucks. Yay! There we go. It's a terrifying <laughs> school thing. And I played sports ball. This is our future. Naked. We it. Yeah, we're wearing it. We're wearing an unexpected amount of clothes Wait, for wearing, this photo. You're supposed to be wearing. You're supposed to be playing basketball. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I yeah. guess we got, I guess basketball, we got yeah. scouted for football instead. <laughs> that sucks because this one's not naked. It's rugby. It's not football. It's no one. Uh, no one knows what on rugby is. <laughs> She's probably fine. She's yeah. fine. Everyone else is probably fine. Oh, they were elected because mm -hmm. everyone's dead. Yeah. Uh, That's yeah. how you win. There it is. That's a cute one. You got the hard one. Now we can Yay. just uninstall the game or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, have fun playing Monster Prom without. Oh, me. that one. Terrifying <laughs> corpse. The games will be faster. <laughs> He's oh. got a really smooth hairstyle. Is that? He looks like a dead is? Wall Street Bets guy. It looks like a wig. Oh, that could be and that not as even well. a flattering one. It's like an intentionally bad <laughs> wig for a movie. I mean, it's, it's a lot smoother than basically all hairstyles in this game in the sense of it's smooth. Weekends at Bernie's, but prom oh. edition. Miranda, can you guys like up the contrast on these? I don't yes. know. But these were really bad concepts. And <laughs> she had an actual mermaid tail at first. She yeah. has mermaid fins on her arms, though. Like uh, in, in the final. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in this one, she yeah. has like fins on her head. Well, she has fins on yeah. her head now. Does she? Yeah. I, I can't. And I'm not can't imagine her anymore. <laughs> I lost it. Hey, it's <laughs> all of us. Yay! Yeah. Oh man, wow. we did it. That one is a really good drawing. We won we the game. Did it. The end. <laughs> Yay! That is the most won we've ever won. Unless we can ever get four endings in one run. Yeah, come on, Keith. <laughs> but if you look I'm at always, the whole night. I'm always the dead weight. 